jerk. And this is the big show. I'm feeling good. How are all you feeling? This is a sigh of relief because after weeks of effort coming close but them canceling at the last second, I have, for real this time, gotten our guest for this episode here today in the studio. I saw them in the green room. They can't leave because I had the staff lock all the doors. Why were they so elusive and avoiding us? I mean, it is the big show. As far as I know, it's the only Wowzles late night or midday or whenever I post these programming. So let's see if I can't get to the bottom of this. So ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have the Tech Tree Tier 7 American Battleship and the inventor of Reverse. Give it up for Iowa. Most of our viewing audience doesn't know that I have a little bit of history with Iowa, so my opinions on it may be a bit extreme. I think it's insanely boring, and the people I associate with it, well, mostly the type to be on FarmersOnly.com and people who say things like, we don't take kindly to you city folk. But enough about the state, let's talk about the ship. It is as long as the state is flat. It's got big accurate guns, and it was probably responsible for more dev strikes on me in my early career than any other ship. Of course, there were a lot less to choose from back then, but even today, I bet it reigns supreme in popularity for Tech Tree battleships. It's also one of the few ships with the artillery plotting room which aids in that amazing accuracy, which is probably one of the reasons many captains prefer to play it passively, but not me. So let's get the commander and by popular request, module set up on the big screen so we can get into this match. Two Brothers, a longtime Kraken producer, is back with the follow up video to the smash hit of December Z23 Kraken 168. First thing you probably noticed was that I did not just sit behind the island but indeed started moving forward. A lot of this is trying to determine if the destroyer is on our side or not, and roughly where they are. Getting into this cove I'm located in is something I like to do as it really limits where the torpedoes can come from while still having relatively low terrain to be able to shoot over. Now that red destroyer is on the run, having lost the majority of their health all for, I don't know, did they get a torpedo? And it looks like one red Massachusetts heard the ship they were in is a brawler. So they're going to try their hand at it. But there is a lot more to close range brawling than being in a brawling battleship. Watch this dispersion. Oof. <laughs> Alright, that makes one. So the west side of the red team is in full retreat. And there is little reason to sit back. The blue Iowa in front of me has taken a beating and I want to try to get close enough to activate their will to rebuild if they have it on. But they are pushing just a little too aggressively. And I can respect that. But like the fine line between clever and stupid, so is the line between aggressive and overextending. I know because I cross that line in just about every video you all don't see. <clears throat> Avrinli Richelieu is pushing forward on our side too, and I like this. Isn't it great when a team pushes together? We're getting closer and closer to this Iowa, but they are unfortunately going to go down, and I think they must not have had will to rebuild on. If only there was a way for us to know. If you didn't catch it, our Richelieu sank the only red destroyer and is aggressively pushing forward. The red Geneza now is coming out shooting HE. Oh dear. I'm going to send over an information pamphlet on AP to let them know how accepting AP into their life could be the source of redemption. And there's an amazing Charles Martel. Still... I have to resist the urge to look deeply, deeply into its barrels or I run the risk of getting lost in those dreamy... Snap out of it! One shot. We don't need the full salvo. One goes over, 
Goodbye, Chuck. Save the other two for the H.E. Slingin' Gneisenau. Goodbye, Gneisenau. So real quick, we are up to three. So it's the end game now. We've won our flank and get to aggressively push in, and I'm on the Kraken hunt. I'm doing a quick survey of the red ship's health to see where to focus, but they're all pretty healthy, so... I'm going to target that Boise that looks like it's sitting still. Are you telling me that our two battleships over on the east haven't even been able to scratch the Boise? Let me show you how it's done. Oh. There you go. That's all you have to do, guys. <laughs> All right, we're at four, and there are two red ships left. A full health Cleveland and a full health Richelieu. What has our east side been doing? I'm going to check our friendly Richelieu's health, too. They're doing okay, but in the Kraken hunt, I'm also kind of trying to determine how much damage they can do before being sunk. Kind of helps me decide who to shoot at, but since everyone is in relatively good health... I'm going to try and alter my course to create a crossfire on that rapidly approaching Richelieu. And in the meantime, take the chance to go for the long bomb from downtown on the Cleveland. Oh well. One last chance, and our Richelieu is going around the left side of that island, so that means I go around the right. This is how you create these crossfires. In the top five things the blue team does that grinds my gears, following in a line is right near the top. I've talked about it before, so I won't go into too much detail, but go where your team isn't. Don't go where they are. If you go where they aren't, that means that someone is going to have a good angle to fire. You cannot bow tank everyone. So that's why I'm going right here while our Richelieu goes to the left. And you're going to see it looks like their Richelieu has chosen to bow tank me. And he's going to take a very solid hit from our Richelieu. I get a little bit of damage there, resulting in the high caliber, but uh, not really too much damage. So as we are winding up here, it's going to look like I'm holding my shot. And to a certain degree, I am, even though I say I never do. But the only reason I'm holding this is to see if this Richelieu is going to give me a better angle. But it becomes obvious that they aren't they do turn a slight amount which is going to give me more access to their superstructure and that is going to do it for this one and give us kraken 191 in the iowa so let's see the results fireproof first blood confederate dev strike high caliber kraken not a bad metal haul, but only 2,556 XP, which is a very middle-of-the-road good game. But that's probably because we had a pretty good distribution of XP between most of our ships on the west. So a good game by the blue team, and well, not so much by the red team. The Charles Martel got first, and that's going to wrap it up for this one if... And Iowa, going forward, gets a little nitrous in your manifold hit like. If you spent your troubled teen years in Iowa living on a farm like me, hit dislike. Hit the subscribe button to end your sleepless nights wondering if you've missed another video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will get back out there for another one soon, and we can talk then.